Hi, it's Daniel Murphy, and today we have a locust tree that failed in the storm. I actually looked at this tree, it's an old customer of mine, maybe two, three weeks ago, and I said, you know, this tree is looking a little heavy, it's got a lot of lean to it, let's take some weight out, out of the top of this tree. Locust, you can hit a locust pretty hard without uh, worrying about the, the, the health of the tree uh, being so damaged. Uh, locust responds pretty well to a heavy pruning. So let's take a look at the situation. What I'm trying to point in this video is to try to, every time a tree fails in a storm, observe what's left and then try to put it back in your mind in place to what it looked like before. And then you realize when you see something like this next time where the weaknesses are. So obviously the first thing I noticed on this tree was this big root sticking out here. You know, and that's probably, that's associated with this spot right back in here. And then there, there's potential girdling root here. This was under the ground. You wouldn't be able to, can you get, can you show this girdling root here? That root right there would have been underground. We wouldn't have been able to see that, but we would have been able to see this edge right here of the, of the, the, the trunk and how it, how it grew. So, so when you see how that kind of curled back in there, maybe you're going to be able to associate that with the girdling root. At this point, we need to get the camera in a little bit closer to show the close-ups here and not worry so much about showing my face. So we have, we had now, we had like some, some bark issue in here. I'm not sure how that bark would have looked. You know, it's, it's hard to tell because it's split, so that opened it up a little bit. How that bark would have looked, but it can't, this is kind of loose. Tough to say whether that would have been an issue or not, but we made we might have been able to see a little weakness there. The tree kind of it's like almost tried to split the, the trunk started to split there as it would in a barber chair. Now let's see what else we got here. So we have this one girdle root which, which was which was invisible from the we wouldn't have been able to see that root from the from the air, but we would have been able to see it along here. And we would have seen this funny looking piece of you know root stump, root crown, whatever you want to talk. That didn't look too good. Now we have this buttress piece here. That buttress piece looks good, but now what else was visible here? We have this girdling root here, this girdling root here, and this girdling root here. And they would have been associated <coughs> with this area right here. You see how that, there's a restriction there? The, the tree grew out around it and then it's restricted there. And then we can't really see what's going on the front end, but clearly this girdling root here wrapped all the way around the front of the tree. So in a situation like that, you can just learn from that and say, hey, you know what, this, these are girdling roots that cause restriction there, probably cause some decay, decay in, the, in, the, in the root system. And you can see there is quite a bit of decay in here. I mean, this is just all mush down the bottom here. So, uh, I mean, there's nothing sound at all down in here. This is just, it's not gonna take long with the stump grinder to get in here and get, get this ground up. So, and then looking at the potential for decay in the roots based on the girdling roots, combining that with like the lean of the tree, the species of the tree, how heavy it's leaning, you can get a pretty good idea of if a tree is gonna fall next time. It's just like, you try to just Study this, try, and it just kind of files into the memory bank. So next time you see a tree with a situation like this, you'll be much more inclined to think, you know, this tree's got a major problem. We should either cut it down if it's threatening the property, <coughs> or let's take some weight off, more weight than we normally would otherwise, because we know we've got compromised structure in the root system here. The one thing about this tree that made me not worry about it all was that it was leaning right out over the yard. You can take a look. It's, it's leaning right down over the yard there. The house is over here to our right, so there's no chance that this tree was ever gonna hit the house. All right, so Daniel Murphy, study your stumps. Study your, any time you have, anytime you have structural failure, study that and take a look and see what it looks like. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Hope you learned something today. This is something I really find that year after year after year, every time you see a tree fail in a storm, you're gonna learn from it. And that's how you develop that sense. It almost becomes like a sixth sense in the end. And let's just look at this tree over here. So now the question is, what about this tree? Okay, that tree just failed and we've got a huge monster toilet tree. You probably can't even see it in that camera angle. And it's heavy and big. And we have this area of the trunk here, which is restricted. You can see that restriction in that, that area of the trunk there. 
But we got a good bunch of suit here, a good bunch of suit there. Not a lot of area of the trunk that's decayed, but this, like you can see this restricted bark is associated with that area. So we have probably a section of the roots that are damaged there. Some decay moving in, tulip decays fairly quickly. But what about the rest of the tree? If you just circle the tree, this whole side is generally pretty good. This side, not so good. So what do we have here? We have more flat bark. I like nice, thick, ridged bark. And you can see when it flattens out, flattens out like this, most species is not such a big deal. On the tulips, it can be an issue. So where is the tree leaning? Again, this is, becomes a big question. The tree is leaning straight out, and it's got a lot of weight leaning straight out towards the driveway. It'd be very unlikely this tree would hit the house. So it's leaning straight out towards the road. There's really nothing out there that could get hurt. It's being a very expensive tree to remove, so I'd have to advise the customer, let's prune the tree instead of removing it, but make her aware there are some structural issues. If you need to be 100% safe, then let's take the tree down, but it's gonna cost many, many thousands of dollars and let her make up her mind. Danny Murphy, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something today. We gotta get going, uh, cut this tree up and get out of here. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Catch another video sometime soon.